So I want to introduce a segment that I'll be calling our weekly trade free signal. This segment will be coming or this video will be coming every uh, every Monday and we'll be focusing on this week, which pair will be on our, like what will we focus? So this week, I want us to focus on AUDCHF, AUDCHF. And the reason why I want us to focus on AUDCHF is because according to higher time frame, we have a clear direction where the market is going. Note, always when you're trying to trade, we don't want to trade in a hurry. We don't want to trade to close profit in the evening. We want to trade according to the setup that has been given out, confirmed, and even supported on a higher time frame. So this week, notice every Monday, I will give you a hands up of at least one pair that you will you will trade. And this pair will always be with a higher time frame. I won't give a short term trade because I don't want us, uh, I don't want to give a short term trade and maybe it fails to hit TP and then it reverses on you. Because you know, short term trades, you have to keep up with the take profit. You sh you, you're supposed to keep checking on your laptop. But a swing trade, a trade that has been given, confirmed by a higher time frame, we have a whole month to check this trade. So AUDCHF. If you have never heard of it, you know, beginners, they are pairs that even they don't trade. If you even don't have it on your watch list, first of all, post this video, add it on your watch list and let us um, analyze it. I want to show you something. Notice last week, the trade of last week on Monday, I gave you Euro CHF. Though it didn't do much, though actually, if you have noticed Euro CHF, it has woken up with a gap. Like this week, the market took a gap. Oh my God. And that gap, I don't know what it means, but um, as long as higher time frame we are supported, and we look back and see when we were trading Euro CHF, how we, what we had to go through. So hold on, Euro CHF. If you're not on Euro CHF, that was the last week trade. Still, we are holding because those are swing trade. And the best thing, AUD CHF is another one. So, what we'll do. Let's go to higher time frame. This is four hours. So if you try to understand Euro CHF from four hour, you will not be able to understand it. So let's go to monthly time frame. So remember, I told you what on the monthly time frame. This is lesson ten, our weekly trade free signal. I told you have to check three things. Number one, forex ma uh, forex market structure. Whenever you are doing a top down analysis market structure number two what are you checking you're checking the price action number three we are taking what the forex pattern so these are the the, the guidelines forex pattern so you will be guided by three these three things so if we check this market which pattern do you think AUDCHF is comment down below what do you think do you think it's a ranging? Do you think it's a downtrend, uptrend? What do you think? So for me, what I would say, the market has been on a downtrend because if I can notice, this is our high on, on March 2021. So March 2021 and we're in 2022, 2023, for two years, this market has been selling. So there's no way I can say that this is a, 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 an uptrend. So from 2021, the market has been dropping down. So according to market structure is a sell, it's a downtrend. And then we need to understand which part, which price action. Price action is the previous candle close. On the month of September, which candle did we have? Even if it's a downtrend, we saw buyers came in, coming in on the month of September. So this green candle that you're seeing, it's the candle that closed on September, meaning is a momentum candle. It's like a spinning top, but it has more momentum. Why? Because the body is bigger than the week. Anytime the body is bigger than the week, of course, is a momentum candle. So, and the last but not least is the Forex pattern. So I want you to comment down below. I'm giving you one minute. What pattern do you think Euro CHF has. So number one, market structure is a downtrend. Number two, the price action is a momentum candle. Buyers are coming in. And then the Forex pattern. What Forex pattern do you think AUDCHF has? Have you commented? 
I'm waiting on you to comment. Why? We need to really interact on these videos for me to know that you are appreciating everyday content. There is no way you can watch a whole video, you don't react, you do not comment, and you expect me I'll be making two videos every day. I need, if a, a video ha is having a thousand views, I need at least a hundred comments in the first two hours of upload. Make sure you have to comment. Like if the way I'm committed to post this video, why can't you be committed to be commenting? You see, a video that has so much engagement, it will have so many views and many people will be helped. So what pattern do you think is? I think one minute is done. If you have said a possible double bottom, you are right. We have this possible double bottom. Imagine having a pattern like this on the on the monthly time frame. So we have a possible double bottom. Possible double. The reason why we are saying possible double bottom is because the half has not been broken yet. So we have a possible double bottom. Then we mark out our we mark out our neckline. So here is our neckline. So this is our neckline. So we mark out our neckline like that. Can you see? And then we have our half. That is our half, guys. We we have our half. So you can imagine how this uh, pair has a very, very clear indication. Like we have a double bottom, half, neckline. We have all this. So the, the question is, if we have a double bottom and then we have our neckline and then we have our half, what do you think is happening here? Which, which strategy do we use? We use WBB strategy. So WBB strategy is what we use. So if we are using WBB strategy, what are the WBB strategy stands for? The three entry signal, number one, wait for green candle. Have we gotten the green candle? Yes. So we have the green candle. Can you see the green candle? Number two, check if the green candle has a gap. It's a bullish angle. I want you guys to tell me, what do you think? Do you think we have a bullish angle? We should be dancing. Why? If Martin Mandley giving you a bullish engulf, IAUD CHF, we have a bullish engulf on the monthly. What do you think that is? What do you think that is? This market has confirmed a buy. AUD CHF has confirmed a buy. So guys, I just want to show you how Forex is easy. And this is a swing trade. Let me tell you, it can even be like this for a whole month. Don't worry. You just add your positions. But this market is going to the half. 531 pips. And this is coming from the monthly time frame. Why would you not pay attention on AUDCHA? So notice we are one week past November, October. So if if we entered last week, if last week is this, this trade I gave you last week, I want to show you the drawdown will be on. So last week, most of most probably would have entered there when the candle was starting. Would be on drawdown, will be on a drawdown of 89 pips. And being on a drawdown, that it, does it rub the fact that monthly is a, a is a buy? Does it rub that monthly closed with a bullish angle? No. And that's what I'm saying. When you have an entry from the monthly time frame, you enter and you, le you leave the trade run. You cannot enter monthly time frame and you start monitoring the trade uh, and, and babysitting the trade. So AUDCHF and EuroCHF, we are not babysitting these trades. Why? Because there is no time to babysit them. Already monthly has given out. We have to relax and wait to know what the monthly has for us. So have I, are we clear? Can you pause the video and go and analyze and then come back? Or you, can you finish the video after immediately the video is done? Go analyze the AUD CHF and you will see for yourself that AUD has confirmed a buy. So if you have never seen a buy the way it is, um, a, a trade how it is, it just um, come to be or how to TP is hit. Like you have, if you have never witnessed, I'm giving you a chance to witness on a, AUD CHF. We don't know how long it will take. It can consolidate here for months. All I know is that my take profit, I'll put it at 63. I can even put it at 6,300. 
6,300. 6,300 is there. So if at all this ADCHF has not hit 6,300, what else are we discussing? 511 pips. So I'll just put my take profit at 6,300 and forget about it. Why am I forgetting about it? It's because now there's nothing else I can analyze. So when we go to lower time frame like weekly, of course, buy is still confirmed. Can you see? Resistance was broken. So there's nothing to tell us that, oh, buyers are not in control. Buyers are in control. They broke resistance. If we go to daily, let's see what daily has, in, has for us. Daily, we have something like this. We have so many, um, like we had this, like a possible, possible double top. Don't allow this to blind you. So that possible double top, if we check where the market is, has it hit half? Can you see that's where the gapping is? That uh, In fact, the market is at the half. In fact, the market is at the half. Do you know? I'm just saying, do you know they can break this half, they come here, but that does not mean it will not come up. That is the worst case scenario. The market still continuing to sell, but eventually they will go up. Higher. If we go to four hour time frame, I just want to show you so many things for, for you to understand. If we go to lower time frame, we'll see we had this consolidation and that's what the market has opened. This is a gap. The market has opened, opened up with a gap. So we had that consolidation, and then we have this area of interest. You see this area? There is this area of interest. I think for our will even help us to trade our AUDCHF better. We have this area of interest. Can you see? We have that area of interest. So if this, if this area is activated, because the market can still drop to this area to activate a double bottom, and that is how many pips down. They can still go down. But I'm telling you, as you're analyzing, I hope you have already placed a buy. Don't waste time. If you watch this video, anytime you'll watch it, you just check. If it has not hit 63, just place a buy. So it can still drop with like 22 pips to activate this double bottom. It can even break that and activate this one. So it has so many double bottoms to activate on there. For It can activate this one or the first one or the second one. So the question is, the question you should ask yourself is that first you have a NENT. The rest is just uh, to add it up. So if I go to daily time frame, you can see we do not have um, a double bottom on the daily. So they can use that daily, but daily bottom, bottom uh, for our bottom, or they can even come to here. They can still stretch and come here. So worst case scenario is stretching all the way to the, to the daily. And that is like 57 pips. Bottom line, what I'm saying is that the worst case scenario is the market continue to retrace like 60 pips. But at the moment, we have a buy. If they activate for our daily, just be prepared of these double bottoms. I have given you two, and the daily one is the third one. So I've given you uh, double bottoms that they will use. But our pattern is where is on the daily time frame. Our pattern is on the not daily. Our pattern is on the monthly. Imagine having a monthly pattern, but we can now have this these patterns either on the daily or on the four hour. So if you're watching me, AUDCHF is your plug. Uh, trade you should be on a buy already as we wait for more confirmation. So. How would you know that this market, imagine this market is going to 63. Hey, this is crazy. 63 is here. So today is 9th. We will revisit this video if the market hit TP. Today is 9th and the market has said it is going to 63, 500 pips. If you have never made so much pips, this is your chance. So I don't want to, to add more because I don't want to make this video long. I don't want to add more. What I need to tell you is that AUD has been confirmed by a higher time frame. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to buy and then now wait for even more confirmation on lower time frame, like daily, four hour, to get more confirmation. But according to monthly, it is a clear buy. Thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. All the best. Make that money.